measurable rain here in Las Vegas since July 13th. But more importantly, we need snow on the western slopes of the Rocky Mountains. Our Steve Wolford joins us from the live desk with the numbers. And I don't have to tell you, we get 90% of our drinking water from that snowpack. Yeah, a lot of people uh, don't really realize it's that high. But from the way it looked in November, Dana, the Colorado snowpack was going to mean some good things for Lake Mead and Lake Powell. But the snowpack did not get much help in December. Statewide, Colorado's Natural Resources Conservation Service says snowpack levels reached 134% of the 30-year median at the end of November. That's a 10-year high. But right now, only one of the state's eight regions is above median through December. The other seven are slightly below or well below where they should be. So what does this mean later in the year when that snow melts and starts heading downstream toward Lake Mead? A little while ago, I asked Rebecca Mitchell. She represents Colorado on the Colorado River Commission. We did get a few storms um, over this last weekend, um, but we're still below average. And uh, it very much is dependent on what basin or sub basin you are in within the Colorado River system. And but more so what that is telling us is that we need to be planning. Um, it's too early to tell. So we need to be planning um, for what we have, um, not what we want. And so that's that's really what what the snowpack is telling me. Mitchell says they can see snow as late as June, so this is really a waiting game. And it's also worth noting that the Colorado snowpack peaks in April. The U.S.